and welcome to your gold market update today on Thursday the 9th of June 2022 with Mike Smith, Senior Analyst at Go Markets and let's have a look at what's coming across the news today. Of course we saw US equities bounce down again to remain within that short term trading range as we've got key data releases approaching and we saw oil price move higher again to touch three month highs. US futures are mildly higher in Asian trading, Asian indices are following that weaker US lead uh, the ASX is choppy in early trading, but down around 0.7%. European futures are also trading lower this morning, as caution is evident across all major asset classes, with the exception of energy, of course. US dollar index still pauses. The JPY has been under significant pressure over the last 24 hours, in fact, over the last few weeks. But we are hitting new lows against most JPY pairs. One wonders when the BOJ will be forced to act to try and protect the currency a little bit. Gold remains mid-range around 1850 and as I said all hits three month highs moving towards that 125 level. We haven't seen this since the beginning of the Russian invasion of Ukraine. The VIX however hasn't spiked significantly. It's trading near that important 25 support level this morning and Bitcoin is choppy within that range. Dropped yesterday from early doors when it looked as though it was going to potentially threaten 32,000 it dropped to that 30,000 level that we've seen so often of late so again no significant buying pressure in cryptos big data day today we've got Chinese trade numbers this morning we've got the ECB interest rate decision this afternoon and of course US weekly jobs the data highlights not surprisingly eyes will also be on Chinese and US inflation numbers tomorrow vitally important that they come in soft if the market is to retain its slightly upbeat sentiment that it's had over the last couple of weeks suggests that we're moving back into a high risk situation over the next 24 hours until some of that data comes across the wires there are a couple of charts that caught our eye this morning so let's just have a quick check in on those we're going to start with the gb pound aussie dollar this had a really good session yesterday you can see push back up towards 174.15 resistance and you can see this morning's trading looking really strong if we look at a 30 minute chart Ever since Asian Open, it's looking as though it could go. And this level here at 174.63 is being tackled right now as we're recording this. In terms of upside potential on this, if we just pop it on the four hourly chart, we're suggesting that next resistance may be around this 175.33 level. So around about 80 pips upside in this, we think it might be on the cards. In the ASX, energy is where it's at. We actually quite like Beach Energy as a potential stock. This obviously broke through a key level, as did most of the energy sector over the last few days. That 177 was a really important price point. You can see it last hit this uh, towards the back end of Feb, and this was again around where the Ukraine conflict started. If we just put this on a monthly chart, just to give you a long-term context, you can see the strength of this candle now we have been here before and we did test around about this two dollars level so we think there's at least upside to there which is around about six percent from where we are now but at this stage we're not seeing any indication that energy is going to do anything but continue to be strong and so fundamentally it makes sense possibly to have some exposure in this sector trade safe and we'll see you again soon bye bye for now